why is gravity the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature so we know of four we know of four fundamental forces the four that we know of the weak electromagnetic force the strong sorry <laughs> the weak nuclear force the strong nuclear force the electromagnetic force and the gra- and the and gravity these are the four forces that we are aware of okay so now how do we know what are the strengths of these forces that's a good question and let me uh, once again go to our friend google and there's a great website that you can check out okay if you want to see basic physics hyper hyper physics so hyperphysics is a great website and let's look at coupling constants constant coupling constants for the fundamental forces and we go there okay let me embiggen this bigify okay so uh, so every force has a coupling constant i'll not go into what a coupling constant is because that will be a whole different <laughs> explanation but every force has a coupling constant so the strong force has alpha s the electronic uh, electromagnetic force is alpha the weak force is a coupling constant and the and gravity has a coupling constant and see the strengths so the uh, so the coupling constant strength for the strong force is of the order of 1 it's dimensionless it could actually be 0.1 or something but let's say it's 1 then the strength of the the coupling constant the value of the coupling constant of the electromagnetic magnetic force is 1 upon 137 so that's about of the order of 10 raised to minus 2 the weak force that its coupling constant has a value of 10 raised to minus 6 so that's four times weaker than the electromagnetic force roughly and then gravity has a <laughs> its coupling constant has a value of 10 raised to minus 39 which is ridiculous it's about 10 raised to it's about 10 is to 33 times weaker than the weak force incredibly weak that's how incredibly weak gravity is okay so gravity is the weakest of forces by a, by a massive margin incredible margin the weak force is the other weakest force uh, neutrinos interact only via the weak interaction and the sun produces trillions trillions of solar neutrinos per second and right now trillions of solar neutrinos are passing through my body right now trillions of solar neutrinos are passing through my body every second and none of them is interacting with me no interaction i don't even know that this is happening i don't sense anything but it's there so the weak force is so weak that the enormous majority of these neutrinos don't interact with with regular matter you know electromagnetic matter but the gravitational force is about 10 raised to 33 times weaker than the weak force so imagine how weak it is so that gives you an illustration of the relative strengths and weaknesses of the forces and the gravitational force is the weakest by far now why is it so that's the question we don't know there are theories there are hypotheses as to why it is so but we don't really know and one of the straightforward answers i can give you is that string theory gives you uh gives you gives you an explanation of why it is so but we have no proof of that string theory m theory brain brain world theory whatever you want to call it so in in m theory uh the universe uh was born from the collision of what's called two brains a brain is a three dimensional object which lives inside a higher dimensional bulk So if you have a sheet of paper it's kind of a two dimensional object it has length and breadth and no thickness almost almost so a sheet of paper is a two dimensional object that resides in a three dimensional world correct similarly the universe <laughs> it it is kind of you can say a brain a three dimensional object that resides in a let's say 10 dimensional bulk string theory bulk and the universe was was formed the big bang was the result of the collision of two brains that's how it is 
in 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 brain world theory in m theory theory so <laughs> in string theory super string theory you may have 10 or 11 dimensions now where are these dimensions why don't we see them we can see length breadth and height right every object has a certain length certain breadth and certain height and time can be the fourth dimension so, so so we are aware of four dimensions we can perceive and sense and observe four dimensions but what are these 10 dimensions that string theory talks about or 11 dimensions or 26 dimensions what are these dimensions so according to string theory these dimensions are ultra compactified they are very small very tiny dimensions you can't see them but they exist so according to string theory super string theory the three forces the strong force the weak force and the electromagnetic force they are their effects are felt only in the three dimensions that we observe they propagate only in these three dimensions but gravity propagates in all dimensions so much of the strength of gravity leaks out in these unseen dimensions and that's why it is so weak in the three dimensions that we perceive that is the theory do we have any evidence of that none okay have we ever observed extra dimensions no and if extra dimensions and all that existed then we then the lhc would probably the large hadron collider would probably have produced micro black holes okay so before the, this thing was turned on the large hadron collider in the 2000s before 2010 there there were lots of papers that were published that predicted that the large hadron collider would produce about one micro black hole per second or something like that and that had something to do with extra dimensions and all that and it never happened we know it never happened and there was a, a, a campaign a movement to stop the lhc because it would produce possibly micro black holes and these black holes would eat the earth up so we would stop we would we would be destroyed so there was this campaign to to stop the, the large hadron collider anyway so the only theory that kind of explains why gravity is so weak is super string theory but there is no evidence that proves the correctness or validity of string theory but it makes sense from that perspective so that's perhaps why gravity is the weakest of the forces 